Welcome back. Today I'm going to cover a question I got about the set of fours. And the question was, how do we know if it's in a four to one or a five to one configuration? And how do we did, how do we set it up to where we can pick which one we want? And so we're going to look at this right now. This is a, a basic set of fours with two double sheaf pulleys holding a small bucket. And so I'm going to show you the T method on the, how it's set up right now. And we're going to figure out whether this is a four to one or a five to one. Okay, so I'm going to get a piece of paper and let's draw this out. So this is my anchor right here. So we're going to draw a line for the anchor and put an A up there for the anchor. And we're going to start right here. Or terminates at the anchor and we're going to draw these double sheaves as single pulleys okay so we'll draw pulley 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 okay the two at the top terminate at the anchor you have a load down here which is the bucket of chain and they're both going to terminate here so right now, this is what we got. Okay. So I'm going to do the T method. And if you don't know how to do the T method, I have a separate video on that. You can check out if this confuses you. But we'll, I'm going to do this fast for the sake of time. So 2T, tension, tension, 2 tension, 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 2 tension, Tension follows, tension to tension, the tension terminates up there at the anchor. Okay, so uh, we always count our tensions at the load. So we got two plus two is four. This is a four to one setup. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. Now you'll develop an eye over time. You know, I can immediately look at this and go on oh, it's a four to one okay basically your your top strand is a change in direction pulling down uh, opposite your load so so this is going down and your loads going up that's a good indication too this is just a change of direction at the top okay so let's make this into a five to one how do we do that well it's as simple as flipping this around putting this at the anchor and this at the load and I will draw that out after we do that okay all right so I'll just take it off so if we take this off flip it around Now I can tell you right now this is a five to one. Um, now some of you guys like to count strands holding the load. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Um, but I'm gonna prove this to you with the T method. Okay, so we'll take this and down here's our load. Up here's our anchor. Okay, we're gonna start at the load. Okay, so we have pulley, 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 pulley. And actually, um, ignore this part right here. Okay, so we're just pulling up. So this, this right here is this. Okay, so this is what we have right here. So this is going to be held right here this is going to go to the load and this is going to go to the load so let me flip this around just a little bit right there so hopefully everybody can visualize that okay so let's do the t method uh, t 
T starts at the input. T, T, and this is a 2T. T, tension, tension there. 2 tension at the anchor. Tension, tension, that's 2 tension. Tension, tension, 2 tension at the anchor. Then the tension gun comes back to the load. Okay, so what we have here is 2 plus 2 plus 1. It's a 5 to 1. Hopefully this makes sense. Of course this strand will be up like this. Okay, so let's apply this to another sister system. And I have a 1 to 1 set up over here and we're going to make it into a 9 to 1 utilizing this device right here. Okay, so if we come over here to our yellow rope basically i have a load on the yellow or not yellow orange on the orange rope and i've got a progress capture and what we're going to be doing is i've already got a rope grab on here i'm going to be pulling this tail on this we in the strand with the load on it towards each other and we're going to accomplish that with a set of fours okay and then we're going to calculate the mechanical advantage and this is called a complex system because the two pulleys are coming together and it is also a called a piggyback system because we're piggybacking with the independent four to one okay well try not to trip here All right, so put that in lock mode. Okay, I'm gonna step back so we can see. So hopefully you can visualize this. The load and the tail are coming together. Okay, so if I wanna raise this load, I use my four to one and you can see here it is getting captured. Okay, so what is the mechanical advantage of this system? Okay, again, this is gonna be a five to one configuration. This is gonna be a four to one configuration on this end. Okay, so we start with our input. Our input is a four to one. So we have four tensions coming on the input automatically from the back side of this uh, set of fours. So we have four tension, comes through the pulley, comes around, four, comes, we'll follow that all the way until it hits our rope grab, which has 5T on it. So this is gonna be a nine to one because we always add our tensions at rope grabs. So we have a four coming in, it's a five because of this right here. This is a nine to one piggyback system. Some people call it an inside nine, okay? And where this is applicable, you could do it just like this. And when you, when you have to reset this system, this rope grab here will catch your load so you don't lose progress. Or, some people have something like a pencil ID right here, um, which is not as efficient as a pulley, but it'll work. Okay. So anyway, this is a nine to one piggyback system called an inside nine. And we can calculate the mechanical advantage because we know what the set of fours represent. Okay. So this is a practical application of knowing the T method to figure out our ultimate mechanical advantage. Okay. Well, I hope this helps and hope that clears up any questions about the set of fours. Um, it's a handy tool. Everybody should have a set of fours in their arsenal. And uh, now you know how to figure out what your mechanical advantage is. See you on the next one.